<laughs> Sorry, let me go to the pound. Um, there was some upward momentum going on in here, but uh, after the court ruling the market, we thought that strength and it's pushing the pound slightly lower. Uh, I still believe that this movement, uh, this post Theresa May for Brexit announcement, it's corrective in the long view. And uh, I do believe that we discussed this gains above 125 are unlikely to be sustained. And it's the, the last line in the sun where the selling interest will probably research something that's actually going on right now. Okay. Uh, I do believe that the immediate support and level to watch will be the 2410, 20 region, because we have uh, previously in the highs in that, re in that area, quite strong ones, but in general, Right, uh, if we take a look at bigger time frames, the movement seems pretty much an, an corrective movement. Nothing is telling me in here that the pair is ready to the game, it's upward strength, and that's the bottom in the pound. Uh, I believe we are far from that. Uh, and, and until the Brexit is triggered, the negotiation, you know, negotiations begin, I don't see much of a case for sustainable pound strength when we are going to see and this correction is in the middle, but mostly a range from the long term. Anyway, below that 24, 10, 20 region, pair can go down to 23, 60, right? There we go. We have multiple intraday highs and lows in the region, but I do believe that the key is 23, 30, a strong, very strong static support level right now. It has contained the upside for over a month back in October, November, that has been a tough level to break either to the upside or to the downside. So I could expect this level to hold, okay? Uh, at least this week. If it doesn't, then the risk will turn back towards downside and the repair will have scope to test these lows, recent lows in the 2250 price, zone, okay? Uh, I'm not daring to risk much of buying in here, to be honest. Uh, above this high, the pair can extend a bit more, okay? I'm looking for up to 26 probably, right? We have also strong static resistance area there, but I do believe that at this point, the market is more willing to sell the rallies uh, than to buy the dips. So be aware of that. Uh, I can't see a clear buy in the pound at this level, okay?